Are you ready for this? You ready for this? You ready for this? Welcome to this continuing series from Morgan Rees. Hello, I'm Morgan Rees. Welcome to this episode on The Beatles' Yellow Submarine. Let's just dive right in. The story has John, Paul, George, and Ringo attempting to rescue Pepper Land, a music-loving community from the invading army of the Blue Meanies, whose hatred for all things melodic is evident in their turning all of the inhabitants to stone. As the Beatles travel there, having one weird encounter after another, a universe filled entirely of holes, a time warp that speeds up the aging process, and so on. Plus, of course, there's a string full of musical hits. Why make the Yellow Submarine movie? We All Live in a Yellow Submarine is not one of the Beatles' most relatable lyrics. Nevertheless, the track Yellow Submarine did inspire an acclaimed animated feature of the same name in 1968. When the Fab Four were looking to satisfy a three-film contract with United Artists after a hard day's night in help, they hit upon an idea of adapting the Lennon-McCartney authored children's song into an animated film instead of making another live-action outing. This would allow the Beatles to spend more time in the recording studio. Back to the studio! Heinz Edelman, the multifaceted graphic designer and illustrator who created the comically hallucinogenic landscape of Pepperland as art director for the 1968 animated Beatles film. The world premiere of Yellow Submarine took place at the London Pavilion on Piccadilly Circus. The film received widespread acclaim from critics and audiences alike, in contrast to the Beatles' previous film venture, Magical Mystery Tour. One thing that gets me are film critics that have never made a film, a video, an audio tape, nothing, with no credentials and no experience. I'm very fortunate to have been an animator, an animation stand operator, and optical effects, and also musician. This makes it a little more credible having actual credentials. The animation design of Yellow Submarine has sometimes been incorrectly attributed to the famous psychedelic pop artist of that era, Peter Max, but the film's art direction was Heinz Edelman. Speaking of Peter Max, twice he invited me to a gallery rollout. The man is a phenomenal marketing machine. He quickly jumped on the Yellow Submarine psychedelic style and made quite a career out of it. According to everyone that worked on Yellow Submarine, Peter Max had nothing to do with the film. Why didn't the Beatles do the voices for Yellow Submarine? They wanted some easy way of churning out the third contractual obligation. So very little work for them and gets them out from under the contractual agreements they no longer were interested in. I was shocked when I learned it wasn't the real Beatles talking. According to the special feature section of Yellow Submarine home media release, Peter Batten provided the voice for George for about half the film. Before he finished recording the film, it was discovered that he was a deserter from the British Army and was arrested. His part was completed by Angeles, who was also the voice of Ringo and the Chief Blue Meanie. With the dawn of the home video era came the opportunity to release Yellow Submarine on VHS. However, it was held up by United Artists for some years over the music rights issues. On the 14th of September, 1999, then rights holder Metro Goldwyn Mayer and Apple reissued the film for the first time on VHS and DVD. Many full-length animated feature films can take up to four years in production. Yellow Submarine had a time schedule of 11 months. The artists had to work day and night to get it done in that time. And that's what they did. They got a bus, it went out every evening, and picked up art students from around the UK, brought them into the studio. They took over around 6 to 6.30 as the second shift. The animation studio also fed them. Without the art students' help, the film would have never got finished. Professionals do their best work under pressure. Everybody kept saying, you know, don't worry, we English will rally at the last moment. And strangely enough, they did. <laughs> Hi, this is Morgan Rees, and I want to thank you for your time and attention watching this Yellow Submarine video, and I'll see you on the Internet. If you'd like to learn more, log on to www.morganrees.com. That's morganrees.com. Thanks for listening.